taking back the keys to the vault. But military power was just the first spark. The real explosion came when Mali turned to its economy. Mali is Africa's third largest gold producer. Yet for decades, Malians saw almost none of that wealth. Foreign corporations and Western partners controlled the mines, siphoning billions of dollars abroad, leaving Mali with scraps. Not anymore. The new Malian government began cancelling contracts, renegotiating deals and nationalizing resources. The message to foreign mining giants was blunt, if you want Mali's gold, you'll pay Mali's price or you'll leave. This was shocking to the old order. For years, resource-rich African nations were trapped in contracts signed under pressure, giving away their wealth for pennies. Mali tore up that script. Billions in revenue that once flowed to Paris, London and Toronto are now being redirected into Malian infrastructure, schools, and hospitals. 